Gonzalez, Discount Forklift. Today we're going to be going over Class 1 Electric Counterbalance Forklifts. Every Class 1 Electric Counterbalance Forklift is equipped with either a cushion tire, which we do have here, or a pneumatic tire. Cushion tires are designed for indoor use, while pneumatic tires are designed for outdoor use. There are different types of Class 1 forklifts. First off, we're going to go over our different types of masts. This here is what we consider a two-stage mast. There are two poles on this forklift. There are also three and four stage masts as well. The more mast stages that you do have, the higher capacity and the higher lift height you will have. Located on the side of your forklift will be a capacity rating. This is a 6,000 capacity rating. Your capacity rating will also be located on your data tag as well. This is the maximum capacity. Your lift height will also show the maximum height you can take of that load. Lift height on a forklift will always be located on the data tag. Other important information on the data tag will include your battery voltage, which will range from 36 to 48 to 80 volts on class ones. You also have your max forklift height, your back tilt, attachment information, battery weight information as well. And some of the trucks will also have the tire information as well located on the data tag for you. All right, next we're gonna be going over the functions of a class one electric forklift. First, you always turn your key. Some keys are located here. Other high steering yellows have the operating here. Always ensure that your seat belt is secured. E-brake is secured as well on this. So we're gonna go from left to right. Other trucks do have micro switches on your hand rest right here for ergonomic easy access. So on your far left, we do have our lift control. When you pull back on your lift, this will raise your forks. Going forward, we'll lower your forks. We'll be moving over to our second function here. This is our tilt. Moving forward, we'll tilt your forks forward. Moving back, we'll tilt your forks backwards. These two functions will always be located on class one electric counterbalance forklifts. Other functions may include side shift or fork posi. This one, if you go pull down, it will side shift right. You push forward and it will side shift your forks to the left. Next, we'll be going over some basic safety features of a forklift. We have already covered your seatbelt. You should always have a seatbelt when they sit down counterbalance forklift. There are also stand up forklifts as well that are classified as a class one. Always ensure that your horn is working that we do have our light working. Reverse lights. This will be reverse working lights. Also notice when we do go into reverse, there is an audible tone to, to let people around us know that we're traveling in reverse. When you are completed and going to park your vehicle, always make sure you put your forks down, tilted forward, always have your e-brake engaged, you may then turn off your truck and remove your seatbelt. So a few basic descriptions. I'm gonna go over your fork length here. Fork length is measured from the heel of your fork to the toe of the fork. Standard being a 48 inch fork. Where your forks sit on is considered a carriage. Carriages are divided into classes. Class one is gonna be a 13, class two will be a 16, class three will be a 20, class four will be a 24. Where you measure this, will be located from where the forks reside on to the base of the carriage. We're gonna do a little bit of information on our battery types. So right here, we do have a 36 volt battery. Another way to measure your battery voltage without accessing your data tag here, you can actually count the number of cells that you do have. Going one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's eight. That's 18 cells total, and there are two volts per cell. So 18 times two, this is a 36 volt battery. A very important function of these lead type batteries is our hydration level. Inside each one of these cells, there's a lead plate. After you have a fully charged battery, make sure you check the hydration levels of your battery. If you do not have a watering system, fill it just above the lead plate, you'll be good to go. Take care of your batteries and the truck will take care of you for a long time.